Um, we have some built-in tools to help you get the look uh, the way you'd like it. And today I'm going to be going over our Easy Customizer, which is a uh, WYSIWYG, uh, what you see is what you get interface. So you can do things like add a header, um, add a uh, navigation bar, change color, change fonts, add a banner to your mobile site, um, and other things of that sort. So what I'm going to do first is start a new trial account so you can see what you can do right from the start. So let me actually go back to here. So I'm going to hit the green try as free button on the home page. and start my free trial. And that's going to take me to the uh, Create Gallery page. And I'm going to upload a couple um, photos first, and I'm going to actually use the um, Lightroom plugin for this. So I'll show you both ways on how to upload through the Easy Customizer and through the Lightroom plugin. So I'm going to create my first gallery here. All right, so I'm going to create a gallery called Portraits, and I'm going to just throw this in a portfolio category. And everything else I'm just going to leave alone for now. Save. And uh, the first thing that's going to pop up is the uh, either the HTML5 uploader, or if you're using Internet Explorer, uh, you'll get the flashy uploader. The flashy uploader will look similar. Uh, the only difference is you cannot drag and drop to it, so you'll need to use the browse button. So right now I'm going to grab a couple of files. Yeah, I can grab this one. And the upload speed is dependent on your internet connection. When you're uploading, you're actually uploading directly to Amazon S3. So it's a very fast connection. So we'll accept files pretty much as quickly as you can send them. You can see that was a four megabyte file and that uploaded in only a few seconds. And then hit, I'm done uploading. And you may see the image or processing image uh, icon. Once the, right now what we're doing is we're creating eight display copy sizes so that when you upload a file, we're not displaying the original file, we're displaying smaller versions that we create that are optimized for the web so that your viewers um, have a very fast um, browsing experience. All right, so while that uploads, I'm gonna go back, or that processes, I'm gonna go back to my homepage. And this is what the homepage looks like when you're starting out. Uh, it's very basic. Um, there are a couple uh, boxes, homepage boxes is what we call them. There is your bio where you can click the thumbnail that says this is not you to add a uh, photo of yourself. <clears throat> There's also uh, the galleries box by default. And if at any time uh, you want to change or hide any of these, you can use the home page layout tab in the upper right. If you want to say remove your bio, just click your bio and it will remove it. If you want to add something else, let's say we want to add a slideshow, just click the slideshow, and then you can click slideshow settings. I don't have enough images uploaded yet, so let's get some images uploaded for a homepage or a homepage slideshow. So I'm going to change over to Lightroom, where I have some uh, portraits here. So the um, I'm going to be uploading through the publish service in Lightroom, which is in the library module, and in the bottom left, then it says publish services. If you don't see SmugMug in there, uh, if you have a fresh installed Lightroom 4, just click the Find More Services Online. It'll open up your browser, and the feature plugin is the SmugMug Public Service. So you can download it from right there. And if you need help installing that, you can go to our help pages, help.smugmug.com, and just type in Lightroom. 
and you can use the uh, Lightroom plugin update button and there's instructions on how to exactly how to install that uh, published service here. So I already have it installed so I'm going to click setup and through setup I need to authorize my SmugMug account through here so we'll click authorize. I'm already logged into my SmugMug account so I just click the authorize button. If I wasn't logged in it would just ask me to log in before this page. So now it's authorized. I come back, click done and I do not need to change anything else by default in here. So I'm going to click save and it's just going to check my SmugMug site against my Lightroom catalog and it's going to show me any galleries I have so far. So currently I have <clears throat> the portraits um, gallery that I just created. So let's upload some photos to it. And go back to these portraits here and I'm going to grab some. I have duplicates in here so I'm just going to remove, oops, remove the duplicates that I've selected. Alright, there we go. And then I just drag my selection and in grid view you can see that now it shows all the photos that I want uh, that are new to publishers. And I click publish and that is going to oh so there is a new version since I have used this. Um, I don't need to update at the moment so I'm just going to click remind me later but if I wanted to I could download and install that update right now. Nick, while that's going ahead, a couple of questions yes. on the, um, I, I, even though I know the answer, it's only because you've told me it, uh, but basically um, Lightroom, what versions did the loader work work through? Oh, the, up, uh, the plugin service yeah, the plug is sorry, yeah. good for Lightroom 3 and 4. So if you have uh, Lightroom previous to 3, it's actually 3.2, so if you have Lightroom 3 or 3.1, uh, you'll need to upgrade, but it's a free up, it's a free update within Lightroom 3. So just make sure you're at the latest version of Lightroom 3 or 4, and uh, it'll be available to you. And the other big question going through is Aperture. Uh, Aperture, there is a plugin for Aperture. So if you go to our help pages and you enter in the search box, Aperture. And you'll find the Hacks and Apps uh, page. You can use the uh, Uploading for Macs or the Aperture to SmugMug help also, but there's more uh, listed at the Hacks and Apps page. And here there are tons of uh, programs that uh, have been created by third parties. So basically created by uh, people outside of SmugMug, so mostly our customers. There's image downloaders, and then there's tons of uploaders. Perfect. Thank so you. Just searching for Aperture, there's two in here: the Smugin for Aperture and the Aperture to SmugMug. So you can uh, use either of those. Uh, some of these programs are free. Some of them uh, you do need to pay for. So you just need to check them out and see which one works the best for you. And if you're in other programs besides Lightroom or Aperture, uh, there's also tons of uploaders here that work in other programs. So, all right, go back to Lightroom. Everything's uploaded, so I will go back to my site. And just make sure those uploaded correctly. Yep, so this uh, first photo is the one that I uploaded through the Easy Customize, or sorry, through the HTML5 uploader, and the rest are the ones that I uploaded through Lightroom. So I'm going to go back to my home page and set up this slideshow. Nick, before we uh, carry on a minute, uh, just yes. the uploader. Uh, I've got a couple of questions. Can you upload pictures via an FTP uh, to SmugMug rather than the built-in uploader itself? Uh, no, you cannot. There is no FTP uploading. It is, um, we have the web-based uploaders. Uh, there are different versions. There's a Java-based one, HTML5-based. Uh, Flash-based web uploaders. There's the Lightroom Publish service, and then there's all of those other um, uploaders from our third parties. So there's um, 
most programs out there will there has been some sort of plugin to upload through, but there is no direct FTP uploading. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so I just click the slideshow settings, and for source, I'm going to use a gallery, and under the choose a gallery box, I'm going to select the portraits gallery that I just selected or just uploaded. And there's all sorts of options here that you can uh, select. If you want them to be able to click on an image in the slideshow and go to that in that gallery, you can turn that on. And then other, other ones such as show thumbnails, captions. I'm going to leave this as it is and click Save. Actually, one good one to point out here is a splash URL. A splash URL is going to be the first image that shows up in your slideshow. Uh, so some people like to use their uh, logo um, for that splash image. That's the way you know that they're your photos from the start. And that splash image will load every time. It'll be the first image loaded every time that slideshow uh, starts. So you would just upload your logo and then enter in the URL for the logo here. And we'll click Save. And then that slideshow starts playing. So let me upload, get a couple other galleries started to upload here. I'm going to use the uh, Lightroom Publish Service as my preferred uploader. I'm going to create a new gallery right through here. So let's do weddings. And I'm just going to select a few of these images from a wedding. And that'll be good for now. So then I'm just going to click publish here again, and those are going to be uploading in the background as I do some other things. So I'm going to go into the Easy Customizer now. So click on your homepage, Tools, Easy Customizer. And sometimes when you go to Secure Pages, it's going to ask you to re-log in. That's just verifying your login information, make sure no one uh, does anything malicious on your site. go and so this is the easy customizer on the left hand side it gives you a preview of what your site looks like so you can see the changes you're making and on the right it shows you the options that you can change uh, basic appearance you can have it the background be lights or dark and the preview will update as you change that I'm gonna keep mine oh dark for this use the browser, you can add a page title. Uh, the page, page title is what goes up in the tab. So right now, the page title of this is Easy Customizer. So the page title, uh, you can put a custom one in there. Uh, so it can be Mixed Photography or whatever your company name is. And a favicon is the little Smuggy here, or in this tab, the Adobe logo. That is a favicon. So you can upload a favicon also. The header, uh, I'm going to leave the Smug Mug header for now. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that is because of the search box. I want to keep that on my site. So if I remove the header, if I remove it, it's going to remove that search box. Uh, if you want to get into more advanced customization, uh, you can re-add the search box um, if you want to remove that Smug Mug header, but I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Custom banner. You can choose an image or just use text. So if you're using text, it's 
you know, you can just, it's just basic text. You can change the font, change the size, change the color, but I'm going to use an image 